Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show how you can build this uh, simple SAP UI5 application, but this is an application that you would uh, run into in many of your customer projects. Uh, so what we have here is a simple table uh, with a couple of employees here, and you can create some employees locally on your uh, OData model. Uh, so here you can create uh, another uh, employee here. And at this moment, uh, this employee is created uh, locally. So if I go to the network, uh, so this was the batch request that was made uh, when we got these uh, two entries, uh, but this entry has not been posted to the backend. Uh, so I can create uh, another entry here as well. So you can see that uh, these entries are uh, just local on your device. It has still not been uh, sent to the backend. And then you can submit your changes. And now if you look into this uh, batch request, uh, and if you look in the payload, uh, you see there is a post, there is another post. So we uh, entered two new rows. Uh, so those uh, two rows have been posted. And then we get the response back. And if we hit refresh, uh, we get uh, all the four rows. Um, so, uh, so something that you can do on the local device and then once you're uh, happy with all the changes, uh, then you can hit submit changes. And similarly for update as well. Uh, so if you want to update your uh, rows, uh, so here you can go ahead and update the rows. Again, notice uh, that uh, the uh, data is not sent to the backend as you're updating. And then once you have updated uh, and then you're happy with the changes, uh, then you can hit submit changes and then you can see there is a batch request. And then if you look at the batch request, the payload itself, uh, you see that there are four merge requests and uh, the response comes back as well. And you have uh, these uh, things as well. Uh, so, uh, and if you want to do a delete, a similar operation here for delete as well, uh, you can go ahead and delete this uh, row uh, and then you see that uh, visually this is like uh, this row is uh, deleted. Uh, you even have a tooltip that says the row is deleted. Uh, you can delete this row as well. And then you can go ahead and uh, submit changes. And uh, this is uh, going to trigger uh, a sub like a backend request uh, to submit the changes. And now you have only two rows. Um, and let's say you also went ahead and added some new rows like this. And then uh, let's say you added another row. Uh, and now you're not happy with the changes. Uh, you can always hit reset changes. And this is going to reset all of your changes. Uh, so nothing is sent to the back end. You can see there is no more additional batch requests. And now there are no pending changes on the OData model uh, because everything has been reset. Uh, so even if I hit submit changes at this moment, uh, there is no additional calls to the back end uh, because there are no changes uh, to the local OData model. Uh, so this is what uh, we are going to see, how we we can build this. Uh, so let's uh, have a quick look and how to build this. Uh, so for this, uh, I have my project right here. Uh, so let me go ahead to the uh, main branch, the first branch right here. Uh, so here, let me go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to my very first branch. OK, so now I have uh, this, uh, 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 this CAP project, a very simple project. Uh, so if I look in the schema.cds, I have this employees entity set. Uh, and this is what we were looking at. Uh, it has an association with the departments, but we are not using the departments uh, in any form or fashion. Uh, so all we need is uh, this, these, this entity set with these uh, three fields. And then if I look in this uh, employee's uh, CSV file, so you see that we have these two entries uh, to populate the initial data. And then in the demo service.cds file, I have this entry to expose the entity set as an OData service. Uh, the demo service.js file, uh, there is no custom event handling, so really nothing here to uh, show. Uh, you don't even have to have uh, this file right here. Uh, Server.js, uh, so I'm using the OData data v2 so this is how you can have the old data version v2 uh, but this is not a cap project so i'm not going to spend too much time on this uh, but what it does is if i run cds watch uh, this is going to give me the old data service uh, for this employee's entity set okay so now let me go to the next branch uh, which is uh, get checkout two underscore uh, and in this branch uh, i have a basic ui 
so when I say basic UI, there is no functionality for uh, adding entries or deleting or updating entries. Uh, this is a fairly basic UI. Uh, so in this UI, if you look in this UI right here, uh, so I have this app folder where the UI is. Uh, the main thing here is this uh, file, this uh, uh, masterview.xml file. Uh, so it contains a simple table. So there's a very simple table right here. And it has uh, four columns, uh, first name, last name, okay, three columns, first name, last name, email. And this is bound to the first name, last name, email right here. Uh, so if I went to this uh, application, if I ran this application itself, uh, like I said, this is a fairly basic uh, uh, UI5 application. Uh, there are no buttons in the toolbar as well. Okay, so in the next uh, uh, video, uh, I'll show you how you can do the addition to the local uh, OData model. Thanks.